Hello you lovely lot and welcome to the beautiful Barston Lakes where we're going to have a bit of a catch up Jay lad. At the well, venue you were at as well. Yes. Yeah, so I've got professional Re <laughs> Richard's not doing the catch up though. The CEO isn't doing the catch up with me and he fished the match with me, the Angling Trust final and practice. Yeah. But he's not doing it, you're doing it with me Jay lad. I'm going to do it with you. Fished is a strong word. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he sort of took, he took part. part, he paid for me on the first day because I didn't have any cash. <laughs> That's all I was here for, basically, folks. But anyway, there you go. So, yeah, so, Angling Trust Final. I've been really looking forward to this one. Um, so, we had a practice match on the Friday. Which, which, which qualify for this one? This right. is Angling Trust. Bagger won it last year at Brad, Brad Shores, Shores didn't yes. I didn't qualify last year, did I? It's the first time no. I missed out. Yeah. Failed miserably. I don't think you did year. many, though. But anyway, mm, this yeah, year you yeah. qualified at. Oh, a weird one. Uh, Bishop's um, Bowl. What's it called? Yeah, Bishop's Bowl. Bishop's Bowl, you won yeah. a match for £13. So, job done, dead early. Yeah, nice and nice to get it done early. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so, all t well, be before that, we had a, a practice match on the Friday. Now, the wind had still been the same, blowing from the east when the fish bite least. So, it's that on the air? Like, right in your handles. face. Right this in your face. Bank, this way. Yeah, so what is it now then? If that's from the east, then that's, that's a westerly. A southerly, a westerly. Southwesterly, yeah. Uh, so it's like really strong, and I'm, I'm talking like proper strong. It was like it? It was a bit 40, nasty. 40 kilometres an hour. Oh, nice. Like proper. But because it was like right in your face, you could still fish pole. Yeah. I mean, I brought ledger bomb rod, but you're not going to win on ledger bomb rod. You know what I mean? It's like nice, sort of like, well, I'll talk you through what happened. Mid match, they possibly tick over. Yeah. Um, but everyone wanted to be on the riverbank. Flat Just because it was comfortable. Yeah, comfortable. Yeah, I don't think you would. If it was a flat calm lake, you'd want it. You'd want this side, would you? Yeah. You still want this side? Yeah. For skimmers, I'd want to be here. I'd want to be one, not maybe not one twenty four, one twenty three to one twenty, one fifteen. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah, that's where I'd want to be. All oh, right, okay. If it was calm. If it was calm, yeah. It wasn't calm, folks. No. And I didn't. <laughs> I, I threw this side. I was on ninety six. Didn't have a clue, but apparently ninety six does hold a few no, fish. It's not. It's crap. No, I'm not having it it's because crap. I'll tell you what happened. So. Oh. Bagger came to me, Bagger was on, what had Bagger been on? He'd run like 100, 101. And then after that, Lee Kerry was next to Bagger and it sort of really cuts, cuts back. back in, yeah. Oh, yeah, like Bagger will have been on 100, 101 sticking out. Seven, eight I've, metres. I've drawn past. that this year and then it does, it cuts back to your oh, right, yeah. doesn't it? Horrible. Yeah, so not like, good for silvers. It's, it's really bad, but well, we'll go for that later on. Yeah. Uh, so I've set up, what have I done? I've done a, a 416s rig because it was so windy. It was only like four foot, just over four foot. Yeah. I've done a 412s rig, even though it was dead windy. Yeah. You know that you told me about. Lighter the better. Uh, yeah. And that was it. Two top kits. Didn't even set my ledger bomb rod up because yeah. I thought, no, uh, to start with. Two top kits, one line, that is it. That's it. 14 and a half metres, and away we go. Mm. And it was perfect. So I fared what we've gone on with. I've, I wanted to do pellets, but because it was so windy, I didn't do pellets. Yeah. And there's a, a story tally. behind this. We can come on to this for the day after, Jay. Uh, so I didn't set pellets up. I just did my ground bait, my worms, maggots, stodgy balls, and fished over that. Not had a bite for 20 minutes, and then who was between us, Rich? Uh, James, Lewis. James Lewis was between us, and he's had like five or six skimmers quick really? on the ledger bomb. So I'm like, oh, a little cage feeder, a little tiny cage feeder, took mm. it like 25 meters or something. Yeah. I need to, need to set the ledger bomb rod up, but then it's gone after 20 minutes, and it was like ridiculous for 40 minutes. I've had one right. every chuck, Jay. Not massive, but like not small either. Yeah. Like, even the little ones here are big ones, aren't they? Oh, it was so good. Six is elastic, folks, walloping into them, just shipping back in the water in like, I've had some sort of like around two pound. Mm. And I thought I'd sussed it, little, little tiny stodgy ball, catching two fish, go and feed it again, and it was amazing. And then winds got up weird and it's sort of like turned and I couldn't really present it. Mm. And it's gone funny, I've not had a bite for a bit. Richard's come up, we had a bit of a, a bit of a team meeting, didn't we, Rich? So he's gone and took a, a ledger bomb back with him, a method rod, and I've set mine up. So I've threaded, threaded the line through, and like my tip's gone twisted at the end. I'll tell you this story, I mean, my tips twisted a bit at the end because I've had it in the wraps for so long and I'm like threading the line through. Anyway, done like a little tiny cage feeder, a six inch twizzle boom, six inch pre tied up length. Go on, Steve. Reader. Cupped it out, cupped yeah. it out on my 14 and a half metre line, clipped it up, tucked it there and it was solid. What it? Oh, it was amazing. I'd like put it in, I like, went to do something, it was like, ah, ah, <laughs> it's on. And it was like that for like 20 minutes and then the winds sort of like turned again and it went calm. And then it went a little bit iffy on the uh, ledger bomb mod, so I put Paul back out and I got a few more. Um, and then coming into the last hour, we're still doing the same thing. It went went a bit iffy, uh, but I still like putting a few fish in my net. I thought, yeah. doing all right, him, doing Freaking all right. Over. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Um, anyway, like, cut a long story short, because I could waffle on about it all day. I've had £49, I think 13 ounces. I've had a right day's fishing. I thought, yeah. 50 oh, pounds of silvers, I've, proper day. I've easy won my section. But he's won our section. He was third on the match, Rich. What's, what's he called? Dave? Dave. Is it Dave? Oh, he was on the point. He was next to on you. 80 on, 
on the Saturday. Three on the point. On Casters. Dave. Dave Will. Wilmot. Dave Wilmot. I apologise, Dave. It's not Wilmot or Wilman. But d d you've won the section with fifty-three pound or fifty-four pound um, on the point. Eighty. Point. Eighty something. I think it was eighty-three. Was in on the day. Eighty-three or eighty-four. But between me and him, like like twenty odd pounds and that. And then, was you know, to, to me, right, he's, I don't think he's worth 17 pounds. No, you were, very, you were impressive, in. to be fair. You were very standy outy. It's that peg, Stick though. Stick the sheet on, Rich. Have I been a pain in the arse there? No, it, I think Stick it's that peg, on. because, like, speaking to people after, no, no, speaking okay. to Alan after, he said, that peg does all of you, and I'll tell you the story of, like, who was on my peg the day after. Uh, so, yeah, so, obviously, Christian's, like, annihilated the match on this bank, on, on Jamie's peg, where he's fishing today. He was. Two, one, yeah, folks. one, two, Come one. On. He's had £99, yeah, his fish pellets and, you know, the thing with this peg here, you, you're angled round more, so he would have had the wind direct at his face all the time, so that's why he's been able to fish it properly. Proper yeah. yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, so he's done awesome there, £99. Second was Sam Collett from opposite me on peg 47. Remember the peg number, folks, 47. <laughs> he's had £84 and he's caught, last hour he's had like £40 short at six metres. Like empty there. It was solid. Go on these, has he yes, actually yes. using one? Oh, no oh, way. Forget about those, just get camera on him. I bet that's where he's got it. Yeah, you've got to get that on, Mitch. Uh, but everyone on that bank's had between 45 and 60. On the other bank? Well, 80 pound, yeah. Everyone's yeah. like caught loads of fish over there. So that's yeah. that's really, yeah, even it though It was Christian... very end peggy, wasn't it? I know that end peg had a... Oh, no, no, it was this no. end peggy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These ends caught over up there. that end were a bit, because yeah. Powell was on that end peg and he had a gripper. He did. It was weird. Yeah, and I really had a proper fancy dip around there as well. He said it was just too deep, you know, carp there and well, was that a lot yeah, carp? yeah, 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 six mm. and a half foot, so it's proper deep. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so obviously the winners come from this bank, but for a nice, just comfy days fishing, because the wind was due to get up more on the Saturday. Yeah, that's where you want to. That's be. where we wanted to be. So yeah, yeah that's, that's that done. Game. Practice match. So come the uh, the, the final. What's that? Um, is it a kite or a buzzard? That is a Jenny Wren. Shut up, you dick. There in the tree. Right up. Oh, that could be a kite. That. Yeah. We'll see. Come on. Uh, yeah, so the day of the match, right, so we're rolling the draw queue, rolling the draw queue. I'm like, please draw the river bank, please draw the river bank. Gone in, peg 47. <laughs> Sam's peg from the day before, I'm like, I've won it. I actually said to Rich out loud. Also, what Sam, was 47 as well? 47 is the same peg that I drew at Medellin's and won the final, so I'm like, it's destined. So I rang Lou up, like, yeah, I'm going to win today, Lou. <laughs> like, I wish I'd never done it because I said to Rich out loud in the queue, we're doing winning today. I never get like that confident and giddy, but you do, and then you go and blooming win. You've Why can't I do you've it? You've got to save it for when you're actually going to win. Yeah, but yeah, I'll, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so that that peg, obviously, I spoke to Sam. He's told me where he's caught. Told me how he's caught. Now, where I've gone wrong, obviously, I'll go into a little bit deeper later on. Cheeky, uh, is I've decided to go down pellet route. Everyone I spoke to was going to fish pellets long and like possibly a maggot line short on them deeper pegs where I was. Mm -hmm. I was just going to go down the same route, fish my normal baits, your maggots, worms, no casters, ground bait, maybe a few micros and that, stodgy balls and just have a lovely day's fishing. And I wish I had done folks, but I've got, I've got pellets in my head thinking I can present pellets, it's nice and calm. I know new Jay would have done pellets, everyone's done pellets to be fair, so I've had Andy Oldham has been to my right on 50. Yeah, on the point. No, I think Waco was on a point on like 53. Yeah, they're bit like the same. So we've yeah. had loads of room, like the, 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 the venue in the match was How so good. How good was Nige giving you the whole oh, lake Nige, for what a, a legend. 35 pegger? Yeah, the whole lake. I'm going to say 35 pegger, like, whole lake mega that. Oh, ridiculous. Proper. So, yeah, Andy Oldham to right, he was fishing pellets, he's literally just set like two rigs up, one line, done, mm -hmm. dusted. Waco to his right on 53, 54. He's done a short swim, but again, he's done pellets out long he's as well. He's got a bit of depth there though, so you sort of can. Is it? Well, it's five foot where I was. Yeah, it'll it be a bit more where we go. Uh, and then I've had Alan. I've had Alan. I've had five times next to me to my left, which he was a bit, he was a bit angry about because that peg wasn't in the day before. Wasn't it? No, wasn't in the day before. So obviously, if it had been over feed, it'd, it'd have caught more. So it's probably good for me. But anyway, so Alan's been to my left. Then I think, I think it might have been Steve Emingray to Alan's left. Yeah, it was. Um, so anyway, uh, yeah. So we started off, and now after two and a half hours, I've had. A dozen skimmers, but big skimmers, like pound and a half to like two, oh, yeah, two pound. and a bit pound. Yeah. Have you? I'm like, this is all right, but like bites were so hard to come by, and everyone walking past saying, Steve and Alan are getting one a chuck, and I could, I could just about see Alan. I couldn't see Steve, just about see Alan. He's like shipping bite. They look like smaller fish all the time. Pretty much what I was catching the day before. Mm -hmm. Andy Alden was like a little bit ahead of me, and then Waco had really started catching a lot to his right, but again they were smaller. And I thought Waco had changed over to like maggots with his stamp of fish. 
I knew Andy Oldham had stayed on pellets because he was cupping bait in, mm. wasn't loose feeding anything, just cupping micros in. So I'm like, I've got to change, this is doing me head in. A match like this, I know everyone's catching on natural baits. I've got to change and that was a mistake. Whether they'd have rocked up, I don't know, but mm. I've changed and honestly, it was instant. Straight away, into skimmers, sort of like Little eight ounce to a pound, but won every chuck and that's how it's continued to the end. Yeah. Little stodgy ball, catching two on double red maggot. Whether I'd have caught and pellet, I probably would. Andy Oldham, last 40 minutes, he's like, he's gone. Like, loads of big ridiculous. stamp ones. He's hooked loads of carp, but he's had like these big ones as well. Mm. And then he's, he's overtook Waco in the uh, in the last sort of like 20 minutes. Has well, he just snuck in, Andy? So he finished yeah, third? Yeah, he did. He's third. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so obviously, come the come the, the, the way in, obviously that's that's my mistake. I, I should have just fished it front to back and I think I would have had a chance. It's, just, it's only lack of knowledge, isn't it? But that short line where Sam's caught, I've not had a bite there. No, but like you said, you got it on a Saturday. I think, yeah. I've had very, like, very busy over I've, there on a Saturday. I've had, I've had mums and dads washing the kids' bikes out of my peg. I've had them feeding ducks. I'm like, I don't want to say anything. Oh, You're too nice. I am. I'm like, yeah, I don't Far want to say anything. Far too nice. Just like I'd washing, have put a barrier like, up and everything. I was, I was like fishing out there, so it didn't <laughs> bother me. Uh, so yeah, so obviously, <laughs> massive congratulations to Steve Emery. Fished an absolute blind. He's won it with £68. Uh, Dave, Will, was, he, yeah. was he a Dave? Will. Wilmot, Wilmot, Wilmot. Will, Wilmot. He was second with £64, I think, on this bank. Yeah, I think so. 60 summer. And then Andy Oldham's yeah. had £61. Did was, he have £61? Andy Oldham had £61. Oh, you were close then. It was next to me. Waco was fourth with £58. Again, next but one to me. And then Bagger. Andy Bennett drew my peg from the day before and he's had £56. So mm. obviously I've left a bit of bait in and some fish there for him. We'll be a lot of bait in so if you've had the peg. It's definitely that peg, you know what I mean? Yeah. But there's been 30s around him in that. So it's not, well, overall the weights weren't as good on the Saturday, but it's probably fish fair if you like, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, there's been a lot more. In the like, final, yeah. Yeah, definitely. But yeah, it's been a right good night. It? It, it was nice and end peg not winning. It was, and it's lovely to like, oh, see someone like Steve win, obviously fishing his nice natural Steve, baits and not all pellety, but like what pellets. Bloke. He didn't fish pellets. Steve fed pellets. He's fished natural baits. He fed pellets and fished ground bits over the top of it. 100%. What, what's he had on the hook? Maggots. But he's so fed micro, he's never fed any ground bait, fed pellets. Did he? Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Oh, okay, fair enough. Fed pellets and loose fed maggots. But yeah, what, what, what a better, what, what a venue. You know what I mean? It's just amazing. That's probably the best silverfish final I've ever seen, weight twice. Yeah. I mean, Gaz is a bit different at Medellin because it's a bit earlier, it's a bit colder. Yeah. But wow, I'm yeah. very, very jealous. 100% I was kicking myself on the way back. I weighed 46, so I weighed 46.4. Alan's had 46.10 and Richie when Reynolds won our section with 46.15. Yeah. And I'm like, start. you bump a few and you lose a few. But but you're winning would, sections with 46 pounds yeah. of silvers. That's proper. W would they have rocked up on pellets? I don't know. They probably would have done, but I caught the same when they rocked up on maggot. I don't know. It's but the risk, isn't it? The pellets is the win. Yeah, but I've just had that the maggots is the safer safe option. Like Lovely you fished it all day, you'd have been in the 56 pound game. Well, would, that could 100%. be enough today on the day. I know. You never know. It's so difficult when you're used to like a lovely day's fishing, like myself, folks. To like put yourself where well, you've got to put yourself in contention, potentially winning. And it's got to go down the pellet route. Yeah, it's difficult. But this venue's so different because of the stamps. There's lots of big ones, lots of brown ones. Yeah, but the little ones aren't little. The little ones aren't That's little. That's what it is. The light. I'm going to say six ounces a little. Yeah. You don't get many of them. Flipping neck. Every two fish is a pound. Yeah. Pretty much. Oh, 100%. Isn't it? Yeah, definitely. So it's, yeah, maybe it is a busy place. We don't know. It's just I, I, I hope it's here again next year because it was so good. Yeah, I think it will be after it being that it was, good. It was phenomenal. So, yeah, yeah. so that's the uh, Silver's campaign over now until it, later on this year. After today. I've What's loved one it. One more Silver's match oh, today. Oh, yeah. Yeah, one more Silver's match left today, which we'll uh, touch about later on, yeah. folks. But yeah, no, it's been a brilliant, brilliant campaign. Proper enjoyed it. Managed to win one. Nearly won. No, I didn't nearly win two, but I'm proper confident. I didn't yeah. want to be greedy. There's always this year, isn't there? We'll go and catch carp now. Yes, go on the carps. Cool.